Vanessa Joy here with Breathe Your Passion on Adorama TV and we are going to give you some tips on posing a groom. This is Brad here. He is actually a newlywed so he's done this a few times by now. But when you're posing your groom, a few quick tips. Number one, men want to look more powerful as opposed to women who tend to want to look more dainty in photos. So overall, when I'm shooting a guy, I will usually shoot from a slightly lower angle than I would shoot a woman. A woman, I would shoot at a higher angle, which would thin them out, make them look a little bit more dainty. A guy, obviously I don't want to not thin them out, but shooting slightly more low, low with your camera angle will give them a little bit more of a sense of feeling more powerful in the image. So we'll start off there. What I'm going to have you do is come right against this wall. And guys, I do tend to like to put them in a little bit more relaxed of a pose. So you're just going to lean against the fence here, put one foot up, both hands in the pant pocket, and however you're comfortable with every foot is fine. Just like that, you got it. Personally, I like to have thumbs out, and that's exactly what Brad Eddy's got his thumbs out. Some people like the whole hand in. Personally, I like to see thumbs. I'm gonna start with setting my exposure first. Right now, I have my shutter set at 800 on my, um, 800 on my shutter, 2.5 on my aperture, and then my ISO is at 400. I'm also manually dialing in my white balance. Right now, it's at 6,500. I also really love the light that's on Brad right now. We have the light coming from the side, so he has a perfect side light, which is also something that you tend to do with men because it's gonna make them look a little bit more rugged, a little more manly. <laughs> so you are perfect just like that. Go ahead, actually look towards that angle first. I'm gonna get a little bit lower. Get a few different crops here too. Perfect. I did some horizontal, some vertical. Awesome. And then you can go ahead and look at me. Love that. So you guys are taking a look at those pictures right now on the screen. You can also get nice details here. So if my, just like when I talk about my couples or talking about a bride, if he's in a good position, he's in good light, I'm not gonna have him move. Instead, I'll just move around him. So I love what you're doing, keep it up. And then I'm just gonna photograph your handkerchief here. I'll photograph your tie. Just some of those typical details that you wanna get of a groom. Perfect. Why don't I have you um, take your hands out of your pockets and you're just gonna kinda of mess with your cufflinks, your sleeves, there you go. So you can add a little bit of movement into posing your groom as well. So go ahead, kinda of bend up a little bit more just to right here. And you can look down. I'm gonna get a detail picture first. Love it. And then sort of just look off to the left there as you're doing that. Perfect. Love, love, love. All right, let's have you go ahead and take your jacket off. We'll get a couple that way. What's nice is while guys don't have bouquets that we can use as an accessory, they do have jackets and he's wearing suspenders, which is super fun. So I'm gonna have you kind of fold your jacket, throw it over your shoulder. Love it, and the other hand goes in your pant pocket. Perfect. Guys, it's so nice to just kind of throw their hand in their pant pocket. I tend to do this instead of just letting it dangle by itself. So most of the pictures I will take will have the pant pocket, and again, with the thumb sticking out. Next, I'm gonna have him come away from the fence because I do wanna do some, not with him leaning, not that I don't like the fence. The fence does make him look more manly, rugged, hanging in his environment, but it does kind of send a horizon line going through his body. So we'll do some off. I love his pose. What I usually have with guys, same kind of thing where he's holding the jack in the pocket, but your front foot is gonna to point towards me. Exactly, yep. You can still kind of give yourself that little lean where you're facing more towards uh, the camera over here. Nice. His body is going to turn that way a little bit, but then your head is going to turn towards me. Perfect. Your head can actually even turn ever so slightly that way. Let me back up a little bit this way. That looks really good. I'm just make sure my background's nice and clean. Good. This is another good spot where you can just kind of do those little details. Perfect. Awesome. And one more looking at me. Nice. So we just did a full session in five minutes with a groom. So we got details, we've got different poses, different environments, different looks, and, uh, and that's pretty much what I do on a groom session. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you click on the bottom to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I will see you next time with Breathe Your Passion here on Adorama TV.